Hi, I'm Cheryl Guillaume. I'm the owner of John Lord's Casablanca Video. We knew we had to move two years before he died, if this was to be viable, because we knew the community video store, the community place where everybody walks to, can no longer exist in our economics. We knew we, had to, we were going to be the only ones and that we have to have access to the entire city and become a destination. So we needed parking and good flowing traffic. So that's why I picked this location. However, um, you know, I cashed out of all my retirement funds and I believe that this would work. I totally do, I still do. He uh, started 34 years ago, we just had an anniversary, um, and his passion was that people would love to watch movies. He just kept going and he never, he never stopped, I think for, you know, his stories about 10 years, you know, just him working in the store kind of thing and and learning about it he had a passion for movies and watching movies um, you know he met me and um, I also had that before I find a place I no need to know that people still want this you get our staff that is amazing like they know if you say you like a movie They'll find a movies like it, and so you never really have to get a bad movie unless you ask for the bad movies <laughs> and want to really, what's a C-rated movie? They can tell you that too. Um, it's been building, the excitement's been building again, which is really good. So if it continues, then I can get enough money in order to move, to rent a new location somewhere along McLeod Trail, hopefully, or other places and um, we can move into that and we can continue. Uh, the other alternative is if we don't find a landlord that'll work with us and hopefully there's someone out there that will and that can work fast other than three or four months of getting all this stuff that has an empty place that wants to work with us, we can move in. Um, the second is that um, if it doesn't. If all of these things, this miracle doesn't come through, and the miracle, half of the miracle already seems like it's working, so I, I think it could. <laughs> but if it doesn't, then um, we're going to pack it down. We're not going to sell off it. Um, it is a collection, so it will be sold as a collection, and unfortunately, it will probably go to the States to some collector or a university in which that will house it. You know, this keeps him alive. You know, I always say it's our store. Yeah, he loved Bogey. He kind of thought, sometimes and I, I, I look at that poster and I go, because he had that hat. <laughs> and I often think of him as that, right? As, as Bogey and seeing him that. He was um, a gentleman, like he, listen to people and that's why he loved the story. I've never said it's my store. When people say who's the owner, <laughs> I kind of, oh, they'll think I'm weird. But you know, I, I still believe he's, he's here. He is here and he loves it. And you know, he's probably looking over your, the shoulder and throwing some of your favorite movies off the shelf. <laughs> you know, you know, the poltergeist thing, but not really. Um, I believe he's here and he's here for us, right? So this is keeping him alive. For instance, I watched A Book of Life, okay? And that's kind of, you know, when you go to Mexico and you see all the skeletons, you don't know what the book, the, the Day of the Dead and all that means, right? And I really kind of took a little piece out of that because it's really interesting because it's about them celebrating the life and that they have, they celebrate once a year everybody so that they remember them and they talk about them. That's the day to talk about all your ancestors. Welcome to the land of the remember. And then they show what the underworlds are, you know, like, so there's two places, not heaven and earth. There's the place where there's parades and parties and everybody's having fun and all your ancestors are there as long as you remember them. And if they're not, then they go to this place that they go into dust because no one remembers. And, and to me, it's, um, you know, I want to continue to have that legacy and continue long after that people say, oh yeah, at least it's John Lord's 
Casablanca video. At least it's there. And um, long after I'm down at that party place and in the parades, <laughs> right? Yeah, so that's, that's kind of my, my vision of it, is to keep him alive, because he loved having his name up in lights, so I put his name up in lights.